Hey, it's Wes with uh, Barrett Heating, Barrett Green Team, and Viable Systems Consulting. I just wanted to show you uh, what this building had before before we start. We have a 28-ton Daikin VRV system with 25 zones, a bunch of different you know heads and stuff. But just wanted to explain it to you as best I can. I'm not good at mechanical drawings, but um, in this case, on the whiteboard, I only have two colors. So, um, oh, there's a red. Hold on, pause. Can you see if any of these work? Okay, so, yay, my boiler going to be red. Woo! Um, so before this system had a uh, water loop system, geothermal, and what it had was a cooling tower up on top that was to cool off the water loop and a boiler down below to heat the loop. And if you know geothermal, you know, it's like the temperature of the earth is always 55 degrees or whatever they're going to say there. And so what these little heat pump units were doing is one would say, I need to be in heat. So it would extract heat from the loop and heat the space. It's kind of like the old school heat recovery system before we had, well, maybe at the same time, it's just another way to do it. And so then this unit here would say, um, I'm in cooling. So it would send heat to the loop. So instead of pulling heat away from the loop, like this one was, this one would send heat to the loop. And that one would go into cooling. And so what the cooling tower would do is express heat into the atmosphere in order to maintain the loop at 60, 55, whatever it was going to be by design. And then the boiler would add heat in order for these units to be able to pull. And that loop always stayed the same temperature, or was supposed to, and uh, all that. So what happened at this place was that the loop system started to basically disintegrate and so um, that was taking all of the units with it. They were all put into the trusses, and it got kind of crazy. So what we did is up top here, we put two units. Um, you'll see them in here in a, in a minute. So two 14-ton units acting as one for a 28-ton heat pump system. And then we've just taken these out down here. I'll show you in a minute. We had... You know, all these were made into ducted down in the basement because we have space up in here. But up top, there was no space to like put more ducted systems in. So we did concealed, uh, you know, ductless units, um, some flat mounts, some under ceiling, you're going to see. But we were also able to expand the zoning to 25 zones instead of 14. We had a situation where like the chief wanted it to be some horrendous temperature in his uh, office and... At the same time, that was heating the reception area, and, you know, it just was messed up. So, we corrected a lot of that. Um, again, you're about to experience a video with no video editing or uh, cutting of any kind, so bear with me, but I'll take you through the system and try to show you what's possible. So, down here, just to make a note of what we have, is we have this... Concealed, and this is an M-series unit. And so this is what that looks like. We had to cut the ceiling out to get in there. Of course, we have some trim and things left to do, but um, that's what that looks like. It looks like the ERV looks exactly the same. But just imagine, you know, it's a ducted uh, unit there. Okay. A little horizontal furnace thing, if you want to call it that. At some point, I will run out of breath, so forgive me, but that is going to happen. And then in here, I'll show you, not that this really is that exciting, but, you know, there's another one up there. So we had three of the ducted version down here that we had to just replace those, those heat pumps I was talking about with other ducted uh, versions. Okay. And then, I'm going to keep it a little quiet in this next place, but, um, so like, for example, here's an E-series uh, concealed-ish flat unit. Now, as you're going to see some of these open upstairs, and there's just one louver out the front. It's a single flow, but it goes up and down, side to side, just like a head, except it's flat up in the space. And they're the same price as the head. So, and they're so much nicer. Um, so we were able to use that in a lot of the small spaces, lobby spaces. Again, we only had, like that much space to the to the uh, trusses in there so and then you're staring right down the gut of an H series that's a big baddie 
Um, that's the kind of unit that has tons of flow. We're going straight across the top um, and in there. And then there's a side profile. And that's as far as we'll go in here. Um, but I'll show you some other units too. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna show you the show you the ERV real quick. So up here, uh, this building, I did do it in the little diagram thing, but it had like the worst ventilation uh, system ever. And so what it had was just air blowing into these cavities where the ductwork was. That was it. Um, and so we brought the ERV, the Daikin ERV in, and uh, we have that running through all new ductwork dedicated to the space. And you'll see, you know, just ceiling louvers everywhere uh, where we're running airflow into the space. Um, so that has been a huge improvement from an air quality standpoint over and top and the energy efficiency of the building as a whole. All right. So upstairs is a lot more exciting. This is a tile company that we're going to respect their stuff. Building owners are upstairs and so we have a little more leeway to run around and I'll oh, jump up to the roof. All right, so. So again, you have, oh, oh, is this unit opening? Amazing. So let's watch this E-Series open. So you saw the one that was flat. And now that back end pops open. That's the return air side. So it releases that. Louvers come out. And there you go. And it did it really quiet. Yeah, it's real nice. I was at a training here recently um, for Daikin. Great training. But, you know, I was like, let's throw the E-Series in wherever we can. I mean, it's not, the space isn't that big. I mean, it's not that crazy. And everyone wanted to do those two-by-twos. <laughs> like... I don't know if I do that. I mean, that's an expensive piece of equipment. It limits some stuff. And this one has fresh air input, everything. It's really nice. So we did this as much as we could. And it just worked out well. I mean, look at this, you know, this tiny little office storage space. It doesn't need a two by two. We just put in a little single flow nine in here. Boom. And then we come into some higher load situations. You know, a little more in here, so we get just a little bigger up in there for the conference room. If I keep showing you, it's gonna get a little boring, but just so you see the application. And then you got, you know, kitchen area with IT and stuff, and that door, they didn't want to go straight in there, but we have plenty of cooling in here with a big baddie. And again, again, that's really all we did up here was the E-Series, pretty much the entire Thing. So you just see them everywhere. Oh, and then maybe, well, this is what we had to deal with. This uh, this place had a, a some kind of water leak issue in the roof, uh, unrelated. But I don't know if you can see. Oh, you probably can't. But there just wasn't enough cavity space to get anything else up there, and so using the E series was just perfect. I'll take you on the control side and uh, show you this, super easy to use. Uh, this is the iTouch manager for Daikin. And if you're doing a big house or anything, using something like this is huge because you're able to have total control over the space instead of this. So your alternative is you can either use a control like this everywhere, or you can use something like this. And what we decided on this job was to forego these all in every zone and just have control up here. Admin can come in and say, say downstairs says, ah, we're getting, you know, it's too much. Then they can go down, they can pick this unit here, and they can say, okay, well, let's take that up a notch. How does that feel? Right, and so we go up here to 65, and done. It's that easy. And there's a lot of background stuff in here, um, a ton that I'm not gonna take you through because it would be like a whole nother video, but um, that's how easy it is to use, and that's what we love about it. Um, it's intuitive. What you're able to do on this thing from just a basic point of use control makes sense to our minds today as far as what we're doing with inter computers. I could probably pop on this without any training and figure it out, it's super easy. Okay, so that's the iTouch manager. Let me take you up to the roof, rooftop. 
to our couple of baddies. We used all um, lock ring on this job. It was awesome. Um, if you're ever doing a job this big or, or whatever, and I know there's bigger jobs, don't get me wrong, but up in this area, sorry, this part of the video is gonna suck as I climb up onto the roof. But as you go and do a job like this, having the lock ring was so huge. We did, we did the whole entire job, no leaks. Um, praise the Lord, it was amazing. Um, the guys put the job together. I don't remember what the pound test, I think it was like 400 pounds or something like that. And they had no leaks, it was just awesome. So kudos, they just did such a great job. Of course, we're still doing final trim out. But here you go. So that is the pit that that cooling tower, remember that blue thing at the top sat in? It sat right in there. And that's what that water loop was connected to. And so instead we filled it with VRV heat pumps. These units are running, let's see how many fans are going right now. So we're running basically half the system. We've got a fan running here, a fan running here. What's really cool about these systems is that this isn't two heat pumps. It looks like two, but it's working as one. These two 14 ton units are a 28 ton unit. And so sometimes you'll see this fan running and then it'll go boop, boop, boop. So it's trying to keep uh, run times equal as far as uh, equipment wear, all that kind of stuff. And I mean, and they're not very loud. So, you know, this thing's on, on super turbo right now. I don't wanna, you know, cause it, but you know, listen to it. Even then it's, it's not super bad. I think I might have a YouTube video of a 10 ton on somewhere in my, uh, in my backlog. I'll come all the way back here for you. So a little longer video, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. Remember we had the M series, which was basically a little horizontal furnace in the attic space. Um, then we had the H series, which was those under ceiling mount baddies that shoot air pretty far and they're kind of ginormous. Um, but that's, again, what we were able to do. And then you had the E-Series, which was that new single airflow. You can bring in fresh air into it if you want. We went separately with the fresh air, but still awesome. Um, and then we have the Daikin VRV. So hopefully you found this educational. Again, remember, this can be applied to a residential home. This is three-phase equipment, but there are uh, things that will uh, allow you to do that on a residential house. It's more complicated and kind of crazy, but we do have single phase VRV. All the heads and everything that, that you saw as part of this system is available in a single phase package, smaller package, five ton, up to five ton as well. And um, so really awesome. And I'm really proud of the guys. This job turned out really well and a customer uh, is gonna be really, really happy here in the beautiful city of Oak Harbor. Thanks again for watching.